Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakudash. The honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam and to the elect that have scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth and faith and sincerity. Honor, Brother Shema Allah from the GMS Houston camp. In this lesson, uh, it's going to be your scripture of the day. All right, First Peter five and eight. Or actually, First Peter five and eight do nine. So scriptures of the day. Okay, so you know, a quick, you know, straight to the point lesson. All right, so start here, First Peter five and eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour." Okay, so it says, "Be sober." All right, basically going to Having, you know, a sound mind. All right, nafo, to be sober, to become and collected in spirit. All right, that's a sound mind. Okay. Sober, watch. All right, to be temperate. Okay. So when you read what, the, what it is, um, Second Timothy two and seven. The most eyes has given us a sound mind. Okay. So it's not necessarily just going into, you know, uh you know, not drinking. All right. Which, you know, you don't want to be drunk every day anyways. All right. Cause we do all things and you know, with temperance and self control. All right. But, you know, you know, Christians use that. You know, you said we got to be sober, right? We can drink, bro. Like, chill out, man. <laughs> they treat it like that's an evil thing. All right. But it was the scripture say, what, give strong drink to him that is ready to perish. All right. Even the, the Lord drunk wine and this and that. So it, you don't understand these guys, man. But be sober, have that sound mind, having this truth in you. You know, watch. All right, that's so why I said be vigilant, all right? You got to stay on point. When you go to vigilant, Greg Arreo. Greg Arreo. all right? To watch, give strict attention to, be cautious, active. All right, to take heed, let's do remission and... and Endless, some destructive calamity sudden overtake one. So you don't want to be caught off guard. All right. So you got your mind got to be on point. Our mind got to be in the scriptures, connected to the to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, constantly connected to the source. You know, praying. You know, fasting. All of these things. Okay. Knowing the times that we're in. It says because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So. This is why you got to be on point because we <laughs> are being sought after by demons. All right, to be devoured, taken up, taken out of this thing. All right, each and every day, you know, something, something is going, <laughs> it, it, it's coming after you, bro. All right, whether you can see it or not, whether it's through people. You know situations that's that's that, that's happening. You know uh, that's hey, cause Satan and these demons, bro, they're gonna try to break your faith in your house, right? Get you to give up. Get you to think you're not a man in the Lord. Get you to think you wicked. All right, you're gonna get destroyed. You ain't gonna get saved. You know they try to make you bug out, man. But that's that's their job. That's, that's what they're supposed to do. But you're supposed to fight back with the spirit. All right, fight back with these scriptures. Right, it's like Matthew the fourth chapter, when when Satan approached, you know, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, man, was just combating with scriptures. Cause this is a spiritual battle, man. You can't, you're not gonna be able to walk up to a demon, you know, and body slam him. All right, put him in a chokehold. All right, you ain't gonna be able to do that. All right, give him a one-two. You ain't gonna be able to do that. All right, and even if a a, a demon was to appear, and you could and you could. Lay hands on them, bro. You, you there ain't no, you know, be no fight that you go win, anyways. That's a demon, bro. All right, but it's a spiritual fight. 
So we got to fight back with this. All right. That's why you got to have that sound mind because a sound mind cannot easily be overtaken. A sound mind as your whole shot within it, within your spirit, it can't be overtaken. Okay? But it says, whom resists steadfast in the face that we constantly resist, right? And, and, and stand firm, that's what steadfast means, right? In this truth and in our beliefs with the things that we believe in. We believe in Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shah. We believe and hope that we're going to make it out of, out of here and right? be able to elect. All right? We believe. That the kingdom of heaven is coming. We got faith in all these things. Faith is what drives us to continue and to, and to go through all of the trials and tribulations and to deal with the bullshit. All right? So we stay, stay steadfast in that. No matter what comes our way. All right? Because it's going to come. It's going to come. And certain times it's going to be harder than others. All right? And you may feel like, damn, you finna tap out. But you better not. It's, it says a righteous man falls seven times to get it back up. All right? There ain't no giving up. There ain't no staying down. The Paul said, I can do all things that Yahweh Shah was strengthening me. Bro, we can hey, we, we, we can do this. All right? You just got to have faith. It says, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So, Bro, we ain't the only ones going through this. You ain't the only one going through your your trouble and your problems. All right? So don't, don't try to isolate yourself like that. If you do that, if you're thinking that in your mind, right, that the Most High is just doing some type of special punishment to you, and, you know, that the, the, the Lord might not be with you, and, you know, you just, you know, complaining and doing this and that. Man, look, all right, we all going through things. All right, so like I said, don't isolate yourself. Use the brotherhood. Use brothers. If it gets that bad, bro, talk to brothers. All right, listen to their stories. Their stories, uh, you'll be like, damn, what the, what, what am I talking about? All right, make you shut up. Because you'll be like, shit, if you had to go through what he's going through, all right, hey, you, you, you wouldn't be able to take it. So the Lord gives us, 1 Corinthians, the, the 10th chapter, the Lord gives us what we can handle. He won't put in too much on us. All right. We are soldiers in this thing, man. So keep that in mind. All right. We're going to fight. As Paul said, fight the good fight of faith. So we got to fight until the end. All right. And keep getting back up. All right. No matter how many times you fall and get knocked down, you keep getting back up. All right. Until the bell ring. And that's when Yahweh shy. All right. It's going to come and save us. <laughs> hey, because this fight is rigged. <laughs> the elect is going to win regardless. All right? The elect is going to win regardless. It's, if, we, if, if we are the elect, man, it's in our favor. All right? The judges? <laughs> the judges are with us. All right? But hey, man, look, that's the lesson, man. I hope this lesson was edifying. With that, I'm going to say, hey, hey, shalom.